Cars out uh, 53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming towards steady up uh, 150 for 33 offset. 50 miles. Okay, right now we keep going. Always be 11 is your jettison menu. You can select the weapons that you want to release just by clicking on the number next to it, the button. So if you select that one, your MK82s, this will be the whole three of them on your left wing. And to release them, you just hold on to your pickle button or spacebar and then you'll do the same with any other weapon that you you have your um, air to air weapons or air to ground you can release anything or everything at the same time or just hit your master jettison switch which is right there and it will jettison all the stores as soon as you press that and hold with your mouse you will go back to the previous page uh, we have a display that is telling you what the current weapon is set to right now it has an arm and delay of 4.0 seconds and your release angle is 35 based on what kind of weapon you have selected you will see AD arm and delay or BA burst altitude or the release angle that you see that is 35 degrees and that's it for the unguided weapons that's more or less what you need to know about your right MFD yeah, we are ready to hit that runway. Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away. And let's see how the, they do. <laughs> now let's talk about your laser guided bombs, LGBs or GBUs. First one is the uh, GBU 10C. This one is used for bridges, runways, and buildings, and it weights about 2,000 pounds, so it's a big bomb. Under your laser-guided bombs, we find this AGM-154JSOW, which is a day and night weapon, used in any kind of weather. and. Uh, is very useful for land and sea targets. The GBU 101 is pretty much the same as the 10C, but this one can penetrate hardened structures and bunkers, and it's also a 2,000 pound bomb. The GBU 12B. It's a precision bomb. It weighs around 500 pounds and is used for smaller structures, runways, and bridges. The GBU 22B, 24B, and 24B Paveway 3 are used for smaller structures, runways, or bridges. The purpose of these bombs are to destroy targets that are under poor weather conditions or at night time when the targets are not visible. Now you will call your guided bombs the same way that you call your unguided bombs. The back space to engage your weapons and F2 to cycle to the sub nodes. It will bring it to this screen and your default GM mode, ground map. Now before you can use your laser guided bombs you must arm your laser. So you would go there and 
activate it. Now you can use your laser guided bombs. Now that you're armed and ready to fire, you will use them the same way as you use the uh, unguided bombs. And I already showed you this before on the radar training. Those are the dots. If you go up to your HUD, the displays are the same. The target designated box and your uh, steer point boxes. Those are your UHOs. They're kind of medium sized weapons. And um, go back to your cockpit and lock up on a target. So there are the white dots, there are your targets. You just move the arrows, that will be your cursor, put it on top of the target. Lock with zero. I think there is an air-based uh, pretty close in 0.3 that's the, what we're gonna attack and um, there's a bunch of targets let me show you with the uh, 3D view so it's like um, kinda like a tower and some headquarters maybe a runway so right now I'm not going to be very specific on what I'm going to hit. I'm just going to show you how to drop the bombs on it. So go to your right MFD and work in the same way that you work your unguided bombs. Gonna drop them all at the same time. Gonna go there and select eight. I think that's what we have on board. I'm sorry, eight. And hit enter. So now you're finding, you're dropping all your bombs at one time. So, uh, get close to the target and you aim the same way. You have your steering line right in the middle of your cockpit, I mean of your HD. So you're going to steer your plane in the middle of the box. I already showed you all this in previous tutorials. Just waiting for the impact. Let me go outside so you can see how the bombs are dropped. Push and hold your pickle button or your space bar and the bombs will be released. So they are gone. Let's see. How they look. Impact. Another cool feature about your laser guided bombs is your targeting pod. You will get there by switching into your targeting pad mode and you see the display is pretty much the same but you're gonna go to your weapon OSB button and come back to this menu and just hit it again it will bring you to all this new menu keys but you're just gonna go to TGP target ground pot you just hit it and it will bring you to this screen now you can see the target that you're gonna hit and you have pretty much the same buttons with a little bit of differences but Everything's pretty much the same. This is your mode, air to ground mode. Your field of view now is wide, narrow, and expanded. You can see the target.